Yeah, so just tell me your name and tell me what you're doing. Uh, my name is Umar Shankar and I'm sitting here and trying to fix something here. He's trying to use the <laughs> Cool, so what's your plan for the evening? Yeah, I'm thinking of doing something with Twitter data, you know, okay. coming up with some sort of a set of results around it. All right. Mm, good luck. And here is Kiran. Hello, dude. He just woke up from... Yeah, um, like so I've discovered the secret to working for 24 and 48 hours is to sleep in between. <laughs> uh, it works fantastically. Be shameless, sleep be shameless about sleeping. I'm trying the Uberman thing, but that's way too hard, you know. So I'm now very shameless. If there's a mattress, I'm going to go sleep for an hour and come back. And that's how I continue working for so long. So, right. so what's um, your plan for the evening? I'm actually not doing a data project. I'm instead doing a Haskell project because okay. uh, we, we have an event to run, which needs a lot of code written. And uh, um, so the cameraman, um, this dude here, um, has so been sleepy. has been importing CSV files to sync yes. attendee lists. Like at least that we want to work that. Yeah, and yeah. I was looking at that and thinking, man, this has got to be <laughs> better. So it turns out uh, Duotin has an API. Um, it's in closed beta, but you can always write to them for an invite. Uh, and uh, I have confidential data to show here. Um, I will not let this be on screen too long it's because too there's data in here that you can't copy. Dude, don't let them anybody copy data from the screen. No. Okay. So anyway, um, it turns out that you can actually make a call to their API and it'll give you the full participant list and then okay. you can go to a sync completely automatic. Nobody has to do download, upload or there. You know, it's press button or even run a cron job and do the sync automatically. Cool. So I'm setting that up uh, for Mr. Sajidia so that uh, his code <coughs> take a break. That's my project for the night. Cool. Sounds great. Come on, yeah, well, data uh, I'm just playing around with Twitter Too much stuff on the screen. Uh, trying to see what is the difference between North India and South India. So in data. But that's what North India tweets about. <coughs> that's <coughs> what South India tweets about. Like what's Mumbai, Maharashtra, Bangalore, Pune. But the circles Kata. doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I've got to format it a bit. Uh, yeah, but what's HTTP? So the bulk of the tweets, geocoded tweets uh, in India, uh, there are links are coming from North India. Okay. There's almost no one sending it from South India. Uh, obviously, Delhi are talking about Delhi. Uh, okay. North India is talking a lot more about traffic than South India. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, North India is sharing a lot more love than South India. Mm. South India has got more coffee. South India is definitely obviously, yeah. more social and media definitely got more geeks. Uh, <laughs> Social media geeks, a lot more love in North India. North mm. India is good. Not mm. bad. Yeah. Someone's <laughs> talking about jobs. Uh, where? Just yeah. point to it. Oh, uh, yeah. North India is looking for jobs more, mm. or has more jobs, and I'm probably more looking for jobs. So, yeah. Your name and what's your plan for the evening? I'm Kamal. So, uh, what I'm working on is basically on the FDA data that uh, okay. the US FDA supplied. So, basically, mm. the data contains. Uh, information on drugs, demographics, okay. and effects on the demographics. Okay. So I've done some basic analysis. So currently what I'm trying to figure out is number of girls between the age 30 and 40 mm -hmm. and, and weight 50 and 100 mm -hmm. uh, who died okay. out of consuming some drug. Mm -hmm. So there's some interesting data coming out of it. So uh, the cough syrup Benadryl actually killed four girls. Oh, okay. So uh, I'm basically working on uh, so some interesting patterns are coming out like... Cool, so can you can you tell us a bit more about the tools that you're like, using? Okay, so uh, one good thing was although the data size is, is almost around say 1 GB. Okay. So what I actually did was I segmented uh, a section of data because I wanted to uh, get some quick results out of it. Okay. So uh, the cool thing is that it was importable in SQLite. Okay. So that helped us to uh, start up, uh, get started and running very quickly. So almost three hours into the hack, we almost have something like uh, almost five to six uh, concrete results. Like we know what is happening in what country, okay. how many people okay. are dying, getting hospitalized and stuff like that. Cool. So the plan is basically to, uh, now after all we have, is to get into more details like per country, per gender, per weight. Write down SQL templates for it and okay. then write it down in a script, generate data and plot it out. Cool, great. Hey, your name and what you're doing for the evening? Yep. Uh, hi, Harsh. Uh, I'm working on the FDA data set. Okay, you're working along with Working Kamal. along oh, with great. Kamal, so Using SQLite, just figured out something very interesting. Uh, we are 
if you see this uh, query would actually show that you know when did the event uh, occur and uh, when was it reported to FDI. Okay. Coincidentally, I, I've taken that if it was reported within 100 days, it's a decent period of time. Yeah, yeah. And you know, now, something very interesting. Mm. Just so, United States is Possibly. reporting is very bad, oh. and if you see India, it's pretty good. Mm, that's interesting. It's pretty good. Even the percentage-wise, we are reporting it faster okay, than the United that's States. Cool. Cool. Great. Cool. So, your name and what you're doing for this evening. Hi, this is Uttam. I work as an artist for a startup called Artu at Hack Night. I'm trying to visualize uh, school marks of like 10th and 12th students. Nice. Like okay. I'm trying to visualize uh, in the form of clusters, like how the schools are positioned like <clears throat> geographically and also like I'm trying to add some sort of uh, repulsion behavior for the candidates, like people who have a lot of subjects pass. I mean, if they are passing a lot of subjects, they try to flock together. Okay. And people who have failed, they try to flock together. And okay. people who have passed and failed try to repulse each other. I'm trying to figure that out using processing. Cool. Sounds good. So you're using processing? Yeah, I'm using Is there processing. anything interesting that you can like take a peek? Uh, not exactly. I'm trying to fiddle out with certain examples right now. But cool. um, there's something I'm, I'm having some errors in it cool. right no now. Problem. Your to... name and what you're doing for the evening? Uh, my name is Pramod. So evening I'm working with Suraj here. We are taking some data from B wall okay. and they have some 8 million <coughs> reviews of social you know, movies and restaurants and hotels. A bunch of social reviews. All web crawls. Yeah, I guess. I guess. So we are just planning to use Hadoop to extract data out of it in the uh, base. So okay. We are pretty much newcomers to the thing. Let's see what okay. happens. Cool. How do you feel coming to the Hack Night? Oh, it's, it's good. I think it's really nice. and. Uh, I hope to meet like interesting people. Okay, good luck. Uh, your name and what you guys are doing for today? So, uh, this I'm Vikrant, uh, and this is Muthi. Uh, uh, we are trying to, uh, we are analyzing Wikipedia data dump. Okay. And we are trying to uh, analyze the relationship between different entities. Alright, so can you tell me a bit more about the tools that you're using? Uh, so, pretty much the standard stack. Standard so stack, standard stack. Uh, Python plus MySQL. Okay, cool, <laughs> great. Cool, good luck then. Yeah, thank you. My name is Vinayak. Gaurav. Gaurav. Uh, we are working on um, a challenge on Kaggle where we are trying to predict uh, what will be, what, what are the blog posts a user is likely to like okay. based on his history of liking certain blogs mm. and blog posts. All right. Your name and what you're doing this evening, just quickly. Yeah, Shantanu, you're trying to work with Twitter, Twitter data. Okay, so what exact point? Do you have any? Yeah, no, just, so, just working with Twitter data and let's see what comes up. So what are the kind of tools that you're using? Right now, um, we are thinking of using some, um, uh, post the export, we plan to use some okay. processing data, but nothing in mind yet. Cool, good luck. Yep. Uh, yeah, hey guys, I'm Rasin and I'm working on uh, on a Twitter data set. So what we thought first would uh, was uh, to build a, you know, a sentimental kind of analysis on that okay. and we're struggling with that right now. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, the guy sitting over there, he's going to build a classifier and, right. I have to give him, right. and I have to give him data for that. Okay. So it's a little tough because we're hitting APIs and rate limits. So what we thought is we'll just start out with smileys. We'll search the smileys in data and assume that they are happy, sad stuff and thought we'd build from there. Cool. Let's see how it goes. Good luck. Thanks.